What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 40 minute glutes hip power workout. So grab your dumbbells and your glute resistance bands if you have them and let's get started. What's up guys, welcome to your 40 minute glutes workout. I'm so excited to have you here. Very proud of you for showing up today and taking this time for yourself. Now let's go ahead and get you set up so we can rock through this together, okay? So all you're gonna need is some space on your mat, your water, and your sweat towel. I do have a couple things that you can bring in if you have them, but not mandatory at all. First thing I have is a kettlebell. I have an adjustable kettlebell here. So if you have a kettlebell, we are gonna do swings today. So you can do dumbbell or kettlebell swings, okay? Second thing, of course, is your dumbbells. Now this is a strength glute workout. So it'll be up in your heavier weights. So I'm gonna use anywhere from my 15 to probably up to my 50 pound dumbbells. We do have that heavy move of a glute bridge. Then we also have lighter moves that I'll use probably my 15 or 20 pounds. Also, glute resistance bands, okay? If you have kettlebell and glute resistance bands, you can pull them out. The workout is still gonna be extremely effective if you don't, but if you're interested in the bands, always have them linked in the description, okay? So, thumbs up if you're ready. Let's jump into the warm up, get our glutes activated, hamstrings stretched. Hinging your hips back in three, two, one, let's go. Squeeze and reach. Good, back into the heels. There you go. Make sure you're not just coming up and slouching forward, okay? Come up, squeeze, you're still neutral, and stretch. Good job. Now take one foot back. Left foot back for me. I'm gonna go down to the front leg, back up. Okay, just a little bit deeper hamstring stretch for this front leg. Three, two, and one. Switch it over, same thing. Go down, and my feet are wide enough so I can keep my balance, but far enough apart front to back where I feel a good stretch in my hamstring. Two, one, and rest. Nice wide feet, side to side. There you go. Wanna feel this in your hips and your glutes. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Now we're gonna go big hip circles. Okay, take it forward, side, back, side. And each position that you go to each side, to the front, to the side, I want you pushing out as far as you can. Okay, this whole hamstrings, low back, hips area is gonna power the most of this workout. Switch directions. So I'm taking a lot of time here to get it mobile. Great job. You will, of course, have a modification window right up here. Introduced with Moxie today in that window. <laughs> but if you have any modifications that you need to do, I will show them up here for you. Okay, cross your arms over your chest. All the modifications I showed today are just with one dumbbell. You can do any of these moves with body weight, but I know not everyone can hop, or not everyone has a kettlebell or a band, so I've made sure to show you how to do these with just a light dumbbell as well. Three, two, one, good, roll your neck. Four, three, two, switch directions. Last bit here. Two, one, and rest, good. Very first move, oh, glute resistance bands are already up here. I'm gonna go with a step out squat jump and hold. Okay, I'm gonna put my medium band on. I'm also gonna show you how to do this with just a dumbbell, just some type of resistance, okay? So you're gonna start here in the middle. You're gonna hop over to the side, land on a squat, hold, two, one, together. Squat, two, one, together. The power is you driving outward at the bottom, okay? So even if you're just stepping, sit. Keep these knees out. We're activating the glutes up top here. Okay, we're going together in four. Let's go to the left first, then the right. Two, 
One, here we go. Hold, one, two. Good, step it out. Drive, one, two. There you go. Activating your glute medius. <laughs> this one, you can really feel the burn if you start to work hard early. 10 seconds. Good, think about rolling onto the outer edges of your feet, getting your knees away from each other. Two, one, good. You've got two more rounds of that, okay? If you wanna, in the wrist, pulse out. That's what we're trying to hit right here. Okay, let's go again. Three, two, one, here we go. One, two, back up. There you go. When you land, it's back and down. Drive the knees out. Good work. Pause for two or three seconds. Feel those glutes separating your knees. Three, two, one, rest. Good, and one more time through. Again, you wanna end your rest. Go here, just think about rolling your feet outward, outward. Ready? Last round, we're getting warm. Two, one, let's go. Beautiful, and even if you just wanna sit without the hop, that's okay too. Good, 14. That's it, keep driving out. Six, five, two, one, and rest, beautiful. Okay, now you're gonna make your way over to a wall, somewhere in the area that you're working out in, okay? We're gonna go kickbacks with your hands on the wall or on something right beside you so you're stable, okay? You're upright so you're just a little bit hinged, Right here, tapping down, lift, lower, slow. Fast, up, slow, down. Let's go with that left leg first. Two, one, here we go. Toe points to the ground. There you go, heel drives high. Your belly should not be popping back and forth. Okay, 45 seconds with this leg. Up, slow. Beautiful. You've got seven, six, two, one, and rest. You're gonna switch legs. Okay, so whichever leg you just did is now your anchor leg. Okay, here we go. Four, three, two, one, switch it over and we're up. Beautiful. Keep breathing, heel drives high. Don't roll your belly back and forth. Hips stay right here where they are. You're squeezing your glute like you're trying to get your glute to ride up your back. Okay, lift it up. Beautiful. Let's go, five, four, two, one. Perfect, now we're gonna split this last one up. You give me two taps right, two taps left. So it looks like this, one, two, switch, one, two, okay? Let's go together in two, one, here we go. Keep that hinge position. Beautiful, and if you're just doing this away from the wall, that's also fine. I like to make sure you have the balance to really stay grounded and focus on the glute. 
15 seconds. Here we go. Lift, lift. Eight, seven. Three, two, one. And rest. Good. Come on back. Grab some water. Now we're moving into using some weights, okay? Good mornings. So your option to do this without the back hold will be right over here, but the good morning is meant to sit kind of right on your traps. Okay, that upper shoulder trap area. So I like to put mine right here, okay? Hold it there, feet are wide, you're hinging back and forward. For this one, we're gonna go back, forward calf raise. So you get a calf lift and a glute squeeze all together. Okay, three rounds, 30 seconds of work. Make sure you don't flare your ribs out at the bottom and you don't round your back to get over. Everything stays neutral, just like it looks when you're standing. Let's go in three, two, one. Come on, shift it back. Calf raise at the top. It's gonna help those glutes come together. Good, and if this hold out back is bothering you, bring it right to the front. That's it, two, one, rest. Good, now can you go heavier? If the answer is yes, let's do it together. You wanna stay right there? Stay right there. We go together in four, three, two. All right, come on, back, drive, lift. Come up onto those toes. Squeeze the cheeks together. Don't just stand back up. Good job, 13. Five. Rest, good. One more time. Can you go heavier? One last time I'll ask you on this one. I'll ask you throughout the day, but one last time I'll ask you on this exercise. Here you go, last one. Two, one, let's reach. Good, come on. Nice tight core, nice flat back. Nice work, you've got six, five, two, and rest. Good job. Okay, grab some water, Whew. breathe. We're gonna go next into curtsy lunge to lateral leg lift. Okay, if you can, you can keep your glute resistance band on. Okay, if you're having trouble with balance, just swipe it off, okay, no worries. So we're taking it back. Curtsy lunge, here, come up, lift. You can hold dumbbells, you can put your glute resistance band, you can do both, you can do neither, okay? So if you're doing it with the band, make sure you know you're not crowding yourself, okay? You are still stepping back, just like a curtsy lunge, regular distance, and then up, then lift, okay? So don't put the band on and then lose your technique. All right, let's go in 15 seconds. I'm gonna hold a 15 pound dumbbell at my chest and we're just moving the left leg. Ready? Left leg only, goes back in four, three, two, one. Take it down and lift. That's it. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, 
One. Good. One more time on this leg. Same thing. Okay? Same thing on this leg. Then we switch to the right leg. We'll go here and lift. All right? Let's go. Left leg moves. Two. One. Sit it down. Stand. Lift that heel. Remember, it's just the heel. So if you're lifting this way, very quad dominant, okay? Glutes aren't really as active as if your foot is here, lifting the heel away. Good work, come on, stay with it for nine. Four, three, two, one, rest, good. Same thing, two rounds, keeping the left leg here, swinging the right leg back, and lift. Ready. Four. We're going right into it. Three, two, one. Lunge and lift. Bring it all the way back up. So make sure you're not going here and lifting, okay? Come up. Stand. Drive. Thirteen. Five, two, one, rest, good. And one more round, moving the right leg, and then we move on to a little bit heavier. So we're kind of working our way up to our heavy here. Okay, last round, three, two, one, right leg goes, and it goes. Good job, make sure also when you lift, you're not going here and then fading over to the right leg. Here, stay over here, then you're right back into your curtsy. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. All right, now if you have a glute resistance band on still, you can take that off. We're gonna go into Romanian deadlift, close and sumo. Okay, and then moonwalk. So three different minutes here, three different styles of deadlift, all right? So let me grab my, uh, I'll go with my 230s up front here, okay? Each minute is a different variation, okay? I want you to feel the difference. So first round, just regular, knees right under your toes or over your toes, over your hips, regular close stance, Romanian deadlift, okay? Hinge it back, stand, okay? Second minute, take it wider, sumo, okay? Here, here, all right? Third minute, we're gonna moonwalk it, so it just means staggered deadlift, moving, okay? Back leg goes back, you're only using the front leg. Here, stand and switch. Front leg, stand and switch, okay? So let's go in five seconds, regular deadlift, three, Two, one, right here, let's go. Just feet right under your hips, shoulders back and down. Reach, squeeze forward. Reach back, squeeze to neutral. Good job. 15 more seconds. Let's go, let's go. Dig the heels in. Power to the front. Two, one, good. 15 seconds rest. Now we go from here to here, okay? Same exact motion. Hips go back. You stand up, squeeze. Two, one, sumo, let's go. Make sure your back isn't relaxing, so don't go down so low that you're rounding, okay? There we go, come on. 
I feel you working hard. You're squeezing hard to come back with power. Seven. Two, one. Yes, there we go. Moonwalk now. Okay, stagger it. This back leg does nothing but help you balance. It's all front leg powered. Ready? Keep your right leg here. Let's shoot the left leg back. Here we go. Then shift it back. That's it. Just keep isolating that front leg. Beautiful. Last minute of deadlifts here. Got about 20 seconds. Ten. Squeeze those glutes. Come on. Three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful work. All right. You've got a minute rest. We're rolling into the second half of our workout. Pretty much all of it's going to be down on the floor. Glute bridge dominant. Okay. So your glute bridges, your abductions your fire hydrants, your kickbacks. Okay, so next, oh, I'm sorry, I lied. You got one more. We've got that kettlebell or dumbbell swing, then we go down to the floor. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna use my adjustable one. This is a Bowflex I found on Amazon. So it goes up to 45 pounds, and then I think down to five or 10. Okay, so. Kettlebell or dumbbell doesn't matter. What matters is that this is a hinge back, forward, not a squat, not here, okay? So we start with our kettlebell or dumbbell out front. As you shift your weight back into your heels, you pull that dumbbell or kettlebell back through your quads and then power forward, right here, okay? Do not let yourself shift forward as you're swinging to roll up on your toes, okay? Keep that back strong, right here, okay? Let's go in eight seconds. We've got three rounds of 30 seconds. Ready, grab that weight, two, one, let's go. Scoop, drive. Beautiful, 15. Good, seven, five, three, two, and rest. 15 seconds, you do that two more times. Okay, keep the back strong. Make sure you're not rounding or sitting. Round two, scoop it up, two, one, let's get it. Come on, 15. Power, power, let's go. Six, three, two, one, and rest. One more round, beautiful work. Same thing, give me that good squeeze. On the way in, okay? Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. How fast can you get your glutes back together? 15. Breathe, exhale. Eight. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Now, as I uh, just happened to come down onto the floor, now we're going down for your glute bridges, okay? So if you wanna go down 
Load up a barbell, two dumbbells, one dumbbell. Doesn't matter what you choose as long as it challenges you. Okay? I like to put a glute resistance band on and then kind of a heavy dumbbell for myself. <sighs> All right. So, kind of rolling into some circuit style here. We've got three variations of the glute bridge that we're gonna roll through. Number one, just your regular bridge, okay? Without the dumbbell, we just go up and down. Well, we do it with the dumbbell, but demonstration, up and down. Second one, you stagger your feet, up and down, switch, okay? The last one, you roll into an abduction. So you lift, open your knees, bring them back in and down. Okay? All right, here we go. Let's get ready. Let's go together. 15 seconds. We're gonna roll through 30, 30, 30. <laughs> this should count as a rip. Just getting this dumbbell up. Here we go, four regular glute bridges. Three, two, one. Come on, up, down. As soon as your butt touches the ground, squeeze the cheeks back together. Lift up to extension. Also, I've gotten a lot of questions on placement for your dumbbell. This should be, here's my hip bone. It should be away from the hip bone, so up on your actual leg. You will have to hold it, but it keeps your hip bone safe. Two, one, rest. All right. Next one, you got the stagger, so you lift and lower, switch. Just about half of a shoe length difference in your feet. Ready? Four seconds, three, two, one, lift it up, down and switch. Good, not a major, major, like two feet away distance, just a little stagger. Both heels still drive in. That's it. This one always burns a lot more than I ever anticipate. Seven, three, two, one, rest. Okay, last one of round one. Lift it up, knees go out, they come back down and go down again. Or they come back together, then you go down. Ready? Lift, separate, lower. Let's go. Lift, open, close, down. Let there be a pause at the top. Yes, beautiful. Come on, 10, nine. Four, three, one more. Two, one. Rest, rest your legs, you've got two more rounds of that. How you doing? Good? Okay, perfect. Regular glute bridges. If you wanna go up and challenge, go for it. Let's go. Two, one, come on, round two. Beautiful. Really power it up. I know round two, you feel like you've done 10 rounds already, or I do at least. Eight, seven, three, two, one. Okay, rest. Staggered. So one foot is just a little bit in front of the other. Ready? Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good, hold for a second at the top and squeeze harder. That's it, feel the difference? Instead of just going up and then going down, you hold there and squeeze harder. Seven. Three, two, one, rest, good. And let's finish out round two. Lift, abduction. Abduction means your knees go away from each other. Four, three, two, 
three, two, one. Come on, let's lift and go. And that's kind of what we're doing here, right? You lift up and then you squeeze harder to open your knees just about three or four inches out. Good. 10. Three, two, one. Whew. Okay. Here we go. Last round. 30, 30, 30. I'm keeping this work short because I want the reps quality, high intensity, good push, good challenge. 30, 30, 30. One last time. Let's go. How's that tempo? Are you just kind of coasting up and down? No more coasting, okay? Get up. Exhale. This is power. You take that strength and you add some speed to it, some intention. Let's go. Fast twitch muscles. That's where you see that muscle come through as you're working so hard. Two, one, and rest. Beautiful. Staggered. Same thing. Same power. Come up fast. And then control down and switch. Two, one. All right, let's go. Come on. Don't slow down, 12. Get up there and squeeze harder as you pause. That's it, two, one, rest. One more time, or one more round. Abductions, okay, this is it. Get up there, squeezing, then squeeze a little harder to open. Let's go, two, one, and we're up. Come on, as you open, you squeeze harder. 10, nine. Yep, you're right there, come on. Six, five, one more together. Lift, two, one, and rest. Oh boy, <laughs> all right. Throw that guy off to the side and grab some water. We're done with that heavy resistance band. Thank goodness. Oh, that was a tough circuit. Okay, we've got another circuit. 30, 30, 30. My water bottle's leaking. Three rounds through. I felt it earlier, just drooling down my face. Anyway, this will be our lighter kind of burnout portion. Okay, I'm gonna use my light resistance band. You've got three exercises. I'm gonna show you all three. Up here in the modification window, I will show you how to do this with a dumbbell. So if you don't have a resistance band, you're doing this with a dumbbell. And if you're not ready for that, you're just gonna do it with your body weight, okay? Probably the least graceful way I've ever put on my <laughs> resistance bands. Okay, kneeling kickback. So, elbows down, you're taking one leg back and switch. Back, switch, okay? If you have a dumbbell, you can see what it looks like up here. Second one, plank, side leg lift, right here. Okay, last one, with the same leg, fire hydrant. Taking it out to the side. Okay, we're going in eight seconds. I'm gonna switch to my medium band, okay, for round number one, and then if I need to drop down, I can. All right, here we go. Two, one, kick it back. Let's just take the left leg first round, okay? Left leg. Good, tap the toe down, lift the heel up. There you go. Eight, seven. Three, two, one. And come on down to your right hip. So again, we're lifting the left leg in this plank side lift. Okay, here you go. Five, three, 
two, one, let's go. And this is probably not going to be a huge range of motion, okay? 15 more seconds. And if it is a huge range of motion, it's likely that you can go a little heavier on your resistance. Three, two, one. Left leg is now lifting for a fire hydrant. Take it out to the side. This one, you can go hands or elbows. Okay, some people prefer elbows to get some pressure off their wrist. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Right out to the side from your hip. Six, five, three, two, one, and we're back to the top. We just did three things with our left leg. Now we're doing all three with the right leg, okay? So you got that kickback. Straighten your right leg out. Let's go in five, three, two, one. Here we go. Beautiful. I feel the burn just like you. Come on. Five, three, two, one. Rest. Flip it onto your left hip. Right leg is going up for that side plank. Lift. Good work. I know. I know how you feel. Legs are on fire. Glutes are on fire. Let's go. Three, two, one. Ten, nine. Okay, right leg, fire hydrant. Are you ready? Good, let's go. Four, three, two, come on. Good. Fifteen, fourteen. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one. Come on back to your kneeling kickback and we go right on through, alternating. Let's go, right into it. Shove that heel back and up, straight out to the ceiling, to the wall behind you and then the ceiling. Let's go. Good job, 15 more seconds. We're rolling right through that rest period. Come on. You're right there. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on to a plank. We're gonna roll it over and open. Ready? Let's go. Roll it over, open. Good job. Right into it, come on. Fifteen more seconds. Seven, six, three, two, 
one and rest. Fire hydrants, go right into them, alternating. Let's go. Great job. <laughs> You've got 15 more seconds. Let's go, let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. You can sit your butt back on your calves, reach your arms forward. You have made it to your cool down. That is it. Whew. Beautiful job. All right, come on back up to your hands and knees. Big deep breath. Exhale, lift your spine. Again. One more. And drop it down. Push those hips to the floor. Give your low back some good pressure here. Legs are straight back. Hey there, how you doing? I think I just went into another world. My glutes were hurting. I was pushing so hard. Sometimes you just get into the zone. You just kind of keep rocking. That's what I felt today. Tuck your toes down. Come on back to your hands and knees. Lift your hips up and drive your heels to the floor. You should feel a really good stretch in your calves here. Hopefully you got into that zone today. Whatever mood you showed up in, I always say you're gonna end up feeling better when you're done than when you start. So keep remembering that on the days it's tougher to show up. Okay, even if it's just a mental break where you stop thinking about what you have to do and just listen to me kind of guide you through what we do together, that's worth a lot. Walk yourself back to your toes. And I do appreciate you guys being here and giving me the opportunity to be your trainer. I really do appreciate that. And I don't take it for granted. I wanna show up and give you my all every single workout. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Give yourself a good little gentle push at the top. Good. If you still have your band on, go ahead and release it. And let's take a wide stance. Lift the arm up and over. And switch, big deep breath in. Exhale, go. Beautiful job. And as our clock rolled out, pretty much as soon as we were done, I kinda wanted to push you through that last little bit. Okay, roll forward, reach down to the floor. Good, really push your hamstrings back like you're trying to show your hamstrings to the wall behind you. Okay, and as the clock rolled out, I hope you just felt this sense of accomplishment that is invaluable in adding to your motivation. Okay, I always say motivation is fleeting and you have to determine that you're gonna make that promise and keep that promise to yourself instead of just doing things when you're in the mood to do them. We all know we're not always in the mood to do things, right? Pull your heel to your glute. Okay, so I hope if anything, the sense of accomplishment is your motivation today. To do something right after this, that also adds to your story, that adds to your health journey. Okay, switch legs. I think the biggest motivator is seeing yourself show up when it's harder and getting things done. I believe that is one of the most motivating feelings. Okay, pushing through any sort of adversity or any sort of, you know, tiredness, a lot of obligations, other things come up. There's nothing more motivating to me than just getting through that stuff and pushing through and accomplishing things. Just checking off your to-do list. We're just showing up even if it's not on a to-do list and doing what you know you need to do. I think that's one of the most motivating feelings. Okay? So, as we're rolling towards the end of this program, a lot of people have not stuck around this long. Okay? You have. You're here right now because you have. Okay? Whether it is the new year when we're doing this workout real time or whenever you're doing it, you're at the end of a program. That in itself is huge. We have another workout and we have a stretch to close out the program officially, but just lasting through that second week, going into week three and pushing through what was tough, pushing through even tougher week four, 
is huge, guys, okay? And I have a way to make sure you're building on top of what you've accomplished this month. I feel like together we're gonna get in the best shape of our lives this year. It's gonna be a year that is different for us. It's gonna feel different because we're gonna behave different and we're gonna hold each other accountable and motivate each other by showing up each day, okay? I'll be here for you each day and I've got some incredible stuff planned. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. New workouts with some new great variety coming at you every single day, okay? So before you head out, I want you to do a couple things for me to help this channel grow and change more lives. Number one, engage in some way. Thumbs up the video to make sure you locked it in that you crushed the workout. Subscribe to the channel right here. Comment below that you crushed it right along with me. I'm telling you, I used you today for my push at the end of the workout, so thank you for being here. And if you like this workout, share it with your friends. I will see you back here tomorrow for our very last workout of the Accelerate program. I love you and I'm so proud of you. I'll see you then.